Welcome back. National Detroit Style Pizza Day was founded by Buddies in 2021 to celebrate its 75th anniversary. The day allows Detroit style pizzerias across the country to honor the history, the style, and the roots of where it all started. The best pizza on the planet. I'm just going to throw that out there right now. <laughs> you know, it's times like these. I wish Smello Vision was real because it smells so good in here. And I wish you could smell this through the television. Joining us tonight is Buddies Chief Brand Officer Wes Picula and the author of Detroit Style. Pizza, a dough town history, Karen Divis. Thanks so much for joining us, you both. It's exciting to be here. Yes, it's so exciting, <laughs> and I'm just, I'm distracted. It smells so good, and I'm suddenly so hungry. But uh, Karen, I'll start with you. You wrote the book on it. So, how do you define? Detroit style pizza. What distinguishes it from everything else? I think Detroiters know it best as the thick, airy crust, that beautiful caramelized cheese crust around the edges that's so crunchy and craveable, and then of course, sauce on top. Yes. Always the sauce. <laughs> it's just, I grew up with this, so that's the thing. This is something that every Metro Detroiter knows that when you, wherever you go, you come home and you go, that's my pizza. That's yep. something that's known here. But it started, obviously, because, you know, it's the Motor City, right? So do you want to walk us through kind of how it all began then? Yeah, back in 1946 at Buddy's at Six and Conant, the kind of home of Detroit-style pizza, where Gus Guerra and his family started making it. And from there, the family tree branched out into other locations and... Since then, it has grown exponentially. It's literally an international food that is being served in Seoul, in Dubai, in Australia. So people have started eating Detroit style everywhere because they realize not only is the shape unusual, but the taste is fabulous. And it's it really, I mean, well, the taste, yes, absolutely. But Wes, what's it like then to have buddies have that stamp of this is where it started, we've created this pizza that's known yeah, around the world? Yeah, it, it, it's really humbling and it's an exciting uh, thing because Let's face it, we've added Detroit to, to buddies, and we're all very proud Detroiters. And so, you know, growing up in the city, and of course, the Six Mile store being the birthplace, and now everywhere this pizza is served, it's gonna have Detroit on it. So it, it's a win for the city, right? It's a great <laughs> pizza, it's a great product, but then you also have Detroit attached to it, so. And Wes, you have been with the company for close to five decades now, yeah, is that right? Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's, it doesn't seem that long, right? <laughs> no. when, you're, when you're working with pizza, it's just, it, it, it just it seems like it you could do it forever so <laughs> what's it been like to be part of such an iconic brand and to see that evolution in real time yeah it's really like i said earlier it's humbling and of course uh, you know all the staff at buddies is very proud right and the ownership the jacobs family which who i worked for uh we're very community minded so it was about the pizza but it was also about giving back so sure. i know for our detroit style pizza day we're working with the salvation army we're giving a dollar back for every pizza sold at the 22 stores. So I think it's about pizza, it's about community. And as Karen said earlier, you know, and she talked about it, it's like the Trinity. You've got all these different people sort of merging out from the Six Mile store. And now across the country, you have their sort of versions, their little spins on the pizza. So listen, it, it to me, it gives sort of recognition to the city and all the creativity that uh, exists in the city between Motown, automotive now you got pizza so <laughs> <laughs> absolutely and karen so you i mean you wrote the book on this and when you see it expanding like this around the globe i mean it's obviously it's it's its own thing but you know you go somewhere you hear somebody say oh chicago style pizza new york style pizza detroit style pizza did it surprise you to see it expand like this worldwide i made sure when i did the research on the book that the pizza makers all had to agree detroit deserved to be there among chicago new york new haven and everybody's universal they feel the style is different enough but also that the origin story deserved to be recognized so to be able to put it down in the book to make sure that we always have detroit as part of the name and that this legacy is always part of our story you know cloverleaf and east point Louis and Hazel Park, of course, Buddies in all of its locations as the originals, and then all the waves that have come ever since are really impressive. Now, how did the book come to be? What led to that? Well, there was always a communication between Wes and I. I wrote about better made potato chips, and Wes wanted that book even then. He said, really, someone's got to tell the story of Detroit pizza, Buddies, and what the evolution was like and so this was a good chance to take a look back and when i realized just how big detroit style pizza had become 
it was the focus of the whole book then. I wanted to make sure each individual maker and some of the newcomers got recognized for seeing the potential in this great square pizza we all love. Yeah, what kind of reaction do you get from out of staters? And I ask that because I remember this kind of going viral a few years ago. I lived in a different state and it was a big debate. Everyone <laughs> had very strong opinions about it, but this is coast to coast. Like you yes. said, worldwide, people are talking about this. Even the pizza makers in Denver, there's a company called Blue Pan, they had people very angry <laughs> that first they were making it wrong. It was too much like a Sicilian. So they had to revamp the recipe. Jeff Smokovich and Giles Flanagan had to come back to Detroit, learn a few things and then try again to convince people this was a real viable thing. It really was a Detroit pizza. And same thing happened to the Hunt brothers, Brandon and Zane, when they opened Via 313 in Austin, Texas. And now they're all over the country. They had to talk people into trying it. And once they tried it, had that crust, had that fabulous sauce on top, everybody becomes a convert for Detroit style pizza. Well, I mean, it's the, it's the best kind of pizza. It's, <laughs> that's, it's I think the sauce that. on top <laughs> scares them a little bit because they're not used to seeing sauce on top. Sure. What do you think is so iconic about it? What is what is it that people are always after? What do they ask for the most? Yeah, I think it's the corners. Obviously, the corners are always where I always say the magic happens. So you've got, you know, and it's cheese corner to corner you got the caramelized crust which is unusual for pizza usually the round pizzas have that edge but these you know so the cheese bakes in it. and we use brick cheese so that's a little bit unique our pepperoni again is under the cheese so the pepperoni bakes into the crust and that was the traditional way of making it so the pepperoni was placed on the dough and then the dough got extra flavor from the juices from the pepperoni and of course it's it's a balanced pizza and, and, and it's crunchy and it's light it looks like it's a lot but when you eat it, it's a very light texture. Sure. So how has it evolved then over time? And do you see it evolving even more going into the, you know, the coming years? I do. I think the tastes vary. Like we do gluten free and of course people want to see the pepperoni now. So we do pep on top and then people want curl and crisp pepperoni. So then we brought in another pepperoni that curls up. Like a lot of people love that little, I don't know, that little oil that cups up in there. So yeah, that's me. And, and we, <laughs> like, like the pizzas today, we have our original cheese and pepperoni with the traditional sauce, and then we have the tomato basil sauce, which is a little bit different. It's spicier. It's got the whole studio smelling like garlic and basil, which is good. <laughs> They're both good for you, by the yes. way. Yeah, healthy. We're getting veggies in there. It's a that's healthy right. pizza. That's, that's right. Thing. Oh, well, it smells so good, and I'm happy to smell of garlic for weeks if it means we can yeah. take this pizza. <laughs> Thank you both so much for coming in today. And happy National Detroit Style Pizza Day. This is Wes Picula and Karen Dibis. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us.